guys, so today for you I'm going to pick a lock that I have not picked on camera and I have not picked it at all since I first got it uh, until yesterday when I decided to have a go. This is the Lock Lab Pack Lock that I won from Bosnian Bill and I haven't wanted to pick it because I didn't want to go accidentally damaging it because this is my pride and joy this beautiful beautiful lock since I won it from my hero but um my lock picking hero that is the key for it and I already have picked this one on camera just before and then I spent 45 minutes trying to um come on Kay get in there there we go does work beautifully spent 45 minutes trying to gut it and because I'm in Australia and we use the metric system, none of my Allen keys will fit to remove the limiter that stops the core from turning all the way around. Uh, so I took out the roll pin that holds the shackle on. So there's a roll pin that holds the shackle, the locking bar on. And there is also a limiter on the top, just here at the back of the uh, core, at the top of the Bible. There's a limiter that stops it from turning more than 90 degrees. And I do not have an iron screw that size. I've got one to take. I'll just put it away. I've got one that'll fit the Allen screw here that holds the uh, locking bar in. But that is it. I just spent 45 minutes trying to find a Allen screw that will fit, and I do not have any in here, unfortunately. But so I won't be picking this, uh, gutting this lock today, but I will pick it for you. And being a pack lock and it runs a core just like the American locks, so they both pretty much run. The same style cores, as Leon's lock pad calls the F cores, or keyways, I should say. I'm going, I'm guessing it has serrated pins in, but I probably will actually pick this, uh, gut this at a later stage once I get some uh, proper Allen screws for it, or oh, Allen keys. I'm going to use a offset hybrid by Sparrows and 25 thousandths thick. And top of the keyway, and I did just pick up and buy a brand new set of top of the keyway, the Sparrows Flat 5 with a neural finish, and put my other ones in my portable lock picking station. So, alright, light tension is the trick for this. Start up the back, little click out of 6, 5, 4, Three, another click out of six, another click out of five, Two and one and we're open so because I'm getting a couple of clicks out of each pin that's why I'm guessing these have serrated key pin or oh, drivers I should say not so much key pins only because of the uh, multiple clicks and you don't really get a fault set or anything like that either but there we go that is the pack lock please don't tell me oh I did no I scuffed it, but the Lock Lab Pack Lock. So absolutely beautiful, beautiful lock. Bidding's near, yeah, goes from low up to high. So as long as you get those back three set, just tickle the other three, you are set. But beautiful, beautiful lock, and it is, as I was saying, pride and joy. Once. I get a screw that will fit the top and I can gut this. I will gut this on camera at a later stage. 
but until then, going to sit right at the back where it belongs on my backdrop. So there we go, the pack lock. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous lock. So anyway, there we go. As always, always follow the codes, keep lock spot legal, you know. Don't go do anything stupid. Please jump down the bottom, right down here is a little subscribe button. Hit that one and then right next to it should be a little bell icon. Click that one as well, that way you can stay up to date. As soon as I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to know. You know, I try to upload two to three to four videos per week, depending on work and everything else that I've got going on. Don't forget to come and join us on Discord. The link is in the description, so click on that description, go down to the link, click it, and come and join us on there. You will not be disappointed. There's a great bunch of guys on there. Don't forget, you can also find Dark Arts Lock on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll post the photos of what's going on in the background, like... I've been flat out this afternoon making these. So these are the short hooks and escape rake sets. These are all going to be mini, single hook, or the hook and rakes. I'm in the process of rounding them all out, getting them ready for buffing, shining, and they will be one set. Once it's all finished, we'll be uh, in the 600 subscriber giveaway, but... These will, all these will have a step down tensioner. They'll all be polished right up, cleaned up, nice and smooth and ready to go. So that's the kind of stuff you'll see up on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. If you are in the market and you are looking for awesome equipment at very competitive and affordable prices, check out www.locksmithstoolbox.com. They're an absolutely awesome Australian company and as you know, that's where I get all my lock picking equipment from if you would like to get in contact with me you can contact me through any of the social medias discord or send us an email at darkheartslockpicking at gmail.com and i'll get back to you if you like what you see please give a thumbs up really do appreciate it and until next time cheers guys